So with all the new information on the internet about Hogwarts Legacy, and there is a ton, I've pretty much read all of it. How combat works, the spells, potions, etc. You know, everything that's out so far. But for the life of me, I cannot find much at all on enemy loot drops. What do the enemies give you after killing them? This seems to be something that the developers are keeping quiet until we actually play the game. Well, I think I may know what it is they actually drop. So listen up because this is important with all the different tier enemies ranging from the weakest to the insane armored trolls and dragons. They gotta give us something for defeating such tough enemies, right? Hey, what's going on y'all? It's Be Righteous again, and if you could drop a like and subscribe, it would be greatly appreciated. I'm sure you'll find what I have to say interesting, at least. Anyways, let me tell you what I may have discovered. Okay, we all know about the Room of Requirement, right? There are very many uses for it, but one in particular is to upgrade your gear. And this is what I read online about it when they said you'll first need to unlock the loom and place it in the room. Once you have the loom, you can interact and choose the item that you want to upgrade. You will have the option to choose a trait for your gear. Once you've picked a trait, you can craft the item with the resources that are mentioned. Remember that. You'll find these resources from your pets, which are magical creatures, or the open world of Hogwarts Legacy. Now here's my understanding of it. We have no idea what kinds of dungeons there are in open world other than what we've seen. We have seen extensive footage on the Dark Arts Arena, but that's mainly for the purposes of trying spells out and testing your metal. So we don't really get to see what they drop after killing them. By the way, the Dark Arts Arena is a really cool horde-like arena. Anyways, I had to really dig deep to get an understanding of what the loot drops will be after killing an enemy. Hogwarts is an RPG, but it's not really a looter game, so you shouldn't expect a lot of gear to actually drop from the enemy. There are no different types of wands like there are different lightsabers in Star Wars, for example. A lot of clothing you wear will be cosmetic, but Here's the thing, all of what you have will have the ability to be upgraded in the room of requirement with charms, potions, and other wearable and consumables that can be crafted and brewed. So the higher the level of enemy, the better ingredients you'll get from their corpse after killing them. Which means that, let's say for example, if you wanna use Avra Kedavra a lot more often since it has a very high cooldown, you can brew a potion that increases your cooldown speed exponentially, which you can then save for a really difficult dungeon where there are a lot of armored trolls for example because it takes a lot to kill them but ingredients are the only thing that will drop after killing enemies after boss fights and especially at the end of dungeons will be exclusive chests that can be opened and i'm sure these will have some more permanent bonuses like charms that can be worn at all times with your clothing which gives you a consistent bonus just for having it on I don't know how much of an RNG element there is to this, but these probably will not only be in chests, but possibly random drops from enemies you kill as well. I just know that me coming from mainly looter shooter genres, I had an assumption that loot would automatically drop from the enemy, but I like this take on it because it'll provide a lot more replay value to the end game. You'll constantly be on the hunt for more and more ingredients to brew potions and stuff needed to craft your gear. This is very exciting. Thought I'd just share it with any of those who came in with the same mentality I did. If you have any input, please don't hesitate to share it below. And make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed and subscribe for more in the future. I'll catch you in the next one. Be right out.